Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel friends in our post point series today i am going to cover backup because backup is very important when you perform some of the critical task on your server it could be your uh, operating system patching or you are let's say you are you are upgrading your application to the latest version which is the post point so whatever the task uh, which are very critical okay so before performing all those things you will have to make sure that your backup is in place so that if anything goes wrong to your application then you will be at a safer side and easily able to perform the disaster recovery so there are a couple of ways through which you will be able to take backup prior to the activity as well as you can schedule the daily backup so how exactly you can do that and what are the things needs to be backed up so i'm going to cover everything step by step after this small intro video hey welcome back guys now just you know before we start let me log into the console so that i'll be able to demonstrate you the backup things in easiest way so when we logged into the ports point console you can see there are in total two components which is installed on this you know uh, server the very first component that is our management infrastructure so that is we called settings okay and the another one is your data which means force point dlp so these are the two things we have to take backup but for force point management infrastructure there is no option available inside the console through which we can take a backup but if you go to the general under the backup here we have option where it's backup data part which means force point dlp now just for you know your reference let me go to the programs and features so that you will understand more better okay so let me filter it out with the force point dlp so as you could see uh, we have total two components the very first component we have installed in our server that is force point management infrastructure and second is force point dlp okay so how exactly uh, the very first component we can take a backup so that we will be at a safer side so to take a backup of force point management infrastructure you know you will have to go to the task scheduler okay for that let me just search here task scheduler and let's open this app click on the task scheduler and here we go by default guys if you notice here then you know task scheduler things are completely disabled right so to take the backup of our management infrastructure we'll have to enable these things so if you have configured fresh server okay and you are in production so make sure this thing is enabled so let me enable that and before that let me show you where exactly is going to save the backup so right now as you could see in, the, in this particular directory you know is going to create one new folder okay so just you know let me enable this and initiate the backup okay so to initiate the backup as you could see it can run as per this scheduled time okay which is in the midnight 12 but you know if you want to run this backup immediately then you can simply right click and select a run see cs script has been executed and now if i open this particular folder as you could see it has created one folder let me just refresh it's went into the top and this is the latest timing okay and this is how it will create the folder with the date on which you are taking backup along with the time and seconds so this is a time frame through which you will be able to understand by when exactly your dlp infra you know infrastructure management server has been backed up now let me go inside this and these are the files which has been backed up which is critical for this particular force point application and the size is in kbs let me just go to the properties see 353 kb but whatever the things which is very important everything has been backed up guys okay so this is the path as i shown you to configure your or take a backup of your management infrastructure and for any reason if you think okay i don't want this particular backup to be stored at this location so there could be chances that you want to store into the 
different directories or at remote location so how exactly you can do that for that let's go to the program files and then websense eip infra and if you scroll down here then there is a one xml file okay eip backup so let's go to the edit and whatever the path you want to you know mention here you can do that which means you don't have to enter anything here okay guys instead as you could see is going to st uh, currently store you know uh, saving our path into the c drive so let's say you want to store this particular uh, backup into the d drive or let's say in one of the remote locations so you can mention double backslash okay and then whatever is your ip is like 192.168.0.1 whatever is the ip okay then your location okay but make sure you that, that the service account which you have used while configuring the ports point dlp or infrastructure has the appropriate rights on that folder which is you are going to mention here okay number of copies so it's going to save five copies then if in case you are using different id okay to store the path then you can mention those credentials here and this is how you can change the backup path of management infrastructure now let me close this without saving so hopefully first thing is clear that how exactly you can take a backup of your management infrastructure now let's open the console again and you know just for your information your force point dlp backup is going to be saved into this particular folder so if you remember while configuring the force point dlp initially we have created this folder right so if i go to inside that then there is no backup is present why because under the task scheduler here you can see the another component which is app data that is by default disabled so we have to enable this okay the way we have enabled triton backup and when this is enabled then you will have to click on run let me just open this and click on refresh is appear okay so that's how you will be able to take backup of your force point dlp it's very simple guys and the status whether the you know your job is running or not you will see the status here so let me just refresh and our earlier backup has been completed but right now our force point dlp backup is in progress so we have to wait until and unless these things get stopped and show as a ready let's refresh again so okay still in it's in progress because the force point dlp component backup contains huge data okay and depending on your environment it may go to the gbs as well okay and these are the things you know two things basically you need to perform the disaster recovery and taking a backup of sql is also add-on 427 mb refresh okay let me just refresh this again okay the backup has been completed for force point dlp okay but guys as i said earlier you can you know reschedule this time i mean as per your convenient okay it could be in the midnight 1 am 2 am when your server is having less load so let me close this task scheduler and now if i open this particular folder it's again created one directory right and it has all the things which is required including your you know forensic repository everything it has you know backed up okay now let me just go back and okay one more thing guys uh, if you check out here there's a one you know a notepad file available that is data backup so if you open that then it will give the clear picture about your backup status that backup has been finished similar way if you go to the c drive under this eip backup yeah and here if you see data backup right if you open this particular file also then here it also you will get the complete information whether the backup is properly completed or not so hopefully now you got the idea that how exactly we can take the application backup okay which includes everything guys okay you don't have to worry about it be it your uh, incidents system information policy configuration everything is you know taking the backup now just for the additional okay just for the safer side what you can do you can take a backup of your sql database as well 
ओके फॉर दैट लेट मी जस्ट ओपन माई यूस्कल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो ओके मीन वाइल इट्स ओपनिंग सो वन दिस बैकअप इज कम्प्लीटेड मेक श्योर यू कॉपी दिस पर्टिकुलर फाइल इन टू द सेफर लोकेशन सो दैट इफ बाय एनी चांस इफ यूर सर्वर इज डिडेंट अप देन ऑल्सो यू विल बी एबल टू टेक यू नो परफॉर्म द डिजास्टर रिकवरी यूजिंग दीज टू फाइल्स विच इज अवेलेबल इन टू द सी ड्राइव अंडर ए आई पी बैकअप एंड डी ड्राइव अंडर बैकअप फोल्डर एंड कॉपी दीज टू डायरेक्टरी एज वेल so that you know what are the data you have uh, you know uh, made available here you will be able to take backup of those things and during the disaster recovery you can create similar folder d drive in your new server where you are going to perform the disaster recovery okay so let me just click on connect and under this if you notice then we have total two database websense data uh, security websense data data security temp archive okay but for us the very important database is this one so just for the safer side what i'm doing i'm going to take the backup of this folder as well so where exactly is going to save so it's going to save the backup under the dss backup folder okay this is the default path which it has took let me show you guys backup dss backup and then 10724 and this is the latest path so if you want you can keep your sql database backup in this particular file or choose different one for an example if i go to the c drive under my program files sql server 16 so this is this is where you know your database is present you can check out here your wsn data security which is the first one and second one is temp archive right so if you want you can keep your backup inside the backup folder but since this is my just test server so what i'll do i'll you know initiate you know keep the backup into this folder only so that it will be easier for me to copy all the data so what we will do or else you know just let's go with the standard process so as soon as i click on add button you will see this is going to take backup into the backup folder right three dots because right now it's not giving me the option even through the path is correct why let me show you that so when you click on three dots you can see it has took the proper path right but the file name is missing so let's give that file name now so file name would be wsbn which is our websense hyphen data hyphen security dot back okay so you can validate here now let me just click on okay Okay, again okay. So our path has been configured, right? So what I'll do, I'll simply remove the first path. So let's click on remove, and now we have the proper path present. So when this is done, you can verify the settings. So I'm going to take backup of full media options. Okay, verify backup when finish. Backup, yeah, everything is proper. Now let me click on okay. and the backup exists has been started and completed because i don't have much data since this is just a test server right now let me go to this particular location which is sql program files microsoft sql server 16 and backup you can see the backup file has been created with the size of 93.8 mb similar way let me take backup of my temp archive you know from this particular location so this particular path is already been there so we don't have to readd so the rest of the things are i believe perfect i'm just you know validating this backup once it's finished so that if there's any error it will throw you know show us now click on okay backup is completed it's very quick now let's go to the folder yeah my both the files has been created So guys basically what we have learned in this particular video that how to take backup of SQL server then your management infrastructure and your forcepoint dlp but during the disaster recovery initially we would be requiring two things one is your eip backup uh, this is for your management infrastructure and second is your dss backup which contains all the configuration related to your policy and other stuffs okay inside on system details everything and just you know keep all these yeah you know eip backup dss backup as well as sql server into the one of the safer location 
it could be on your uh, you know tape drive or you can use your backup tool you know so that all the data will be safely kept somewhere else other than your forcepoint dlp server now you guys might be wondering that so far i have covered for the forcepoint dlp server but how exactly we can take backup of our endpoint server right endpoint dlp server you can say detection server or what ocr server crawler server whatever it is so how to take backup just to be safe on the disaster recovery side so let me show you that also okay so for that let's go to our endpoint dlp server hey guys this is my endpoint server endpoint dlp server let me just quickly go to the you know progress and features and show you guys that uh, you know what are the things are installed in this particular server along with host name of this system so as you know yep pep postponed endpoint you know server you know host name is my detection server which is endpoint dlp server so if you check out here then there is only single component is installed on this server that is force point dlp okay so how exactly you can take backup because all through for force point dlp we don't have any console right so and even if i go to the task scheduler let me open this app the way we have to take backup of our you know uh, on the uh, force point uh, management server you know so similar way if i go to the task scheduler library then you will notice then you don't have any backup component available here so there is nothing to backup on your force point dlp server so the very important thing is you will have to properly take backup of your management infrastructure as well as force point dlp server which is i uh, you know normally installed on the same server in our management server right and the restoration part i know and in case of failure of the any of the end force point dlp server the process is very simple guys you just have to run the setup which is available with you so let's say i'm version we're running version 10.2 so you will have to install this 10.2 version and during the installation itself it will ask you for the credential and you, you just simply have to authenticate and you are done so next time you will deploy the you know settings or let's say policy all the configuration will be you know uh, pushed on this particular server so that much of easy you know all the things are available and i really like the you know backup and recovery part of the force point dlp so hopefully you guys have found this video useful and learn that how exactly you can take a backup of your force point dlp server be it your management infrastructure or your force point dlp and the another thing is doubt of your detection server that how exactly those can be backed up this is also you know i believe cleared and in next video i will demonstrate how to upgrade your force point dlp server or let's say application okay from older version to new version step by step so and as always if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe if in case you are a new viewer on this channel and enable the bell icon so that as and when i'll upload new video you will get the notification so that you will never miss my future videos and do share your valuable feedback uh, that's it in this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the new amazing video till then bye bye